Aloha friends! Today I'm here to celebrate our dear friend June Elise's birthday, her sixth birthday. So here is a story for June Elise. More than six years ago, June was still up in the clouds. She was not yet on earth. June used to love to play up in the clouds. She would jump and roll and have so much fun. One day, her guardian angel gifted her a golden ball. June would toss it high up in the sky and catch it again. She loved the golden ball and she would play with it all day long. Now one day, as she was throwing her golden ball so high, it rolled away. She searched and searched for her golden ball, but she could not find it. Finally, she found her golden ball, but as she went to pick it up, she saw in a hole through the clouds, a beautiful island in the middle of the ocean down below. She saw trees and animals and parents loving their children. She went to her guardian angel and said, oh, how I would love to go there. Her guardian angel said, soon, my child, and June went back to play with her golden ball. June would balance on one foot and then the other foot without toppling over. She would jump and she would play with her golden ball. But again one day, she saw in a clearing in the clouds a beautiful island in the middle of the ocean she saw a house down south on the island with a mama and a little girl named Sophia and a dad taking care of their farm. She saw a mama taking care of the garden and singing, oh how I wish for another child. June went to her guardian angel and told her what she had seen. May I go there? May I go to them? Her guardian angel said, yes, but first we must go on a long walk. June walked with her guardian angel. She came first to the house of the sun who gifted her courage. She tucked it into her heart this is for the days when life is not so easy that you may always have courage. And on they went. They then came to the house of the moon who slipped wisdom under her feet, which felt like soft slippers. June thanked the moon and on they walked. They passed by the many stars who winked their happy eyes at her. 
One bright star touched June's eyes gently and gave her the twinkle in her eyes. If you look up, you can find her special star looking down at her each night. June thanked the stars and on they walked. They then came to the Rainbow Bridge. The guardian angel wrapped June in a blanket. And down she slid. Through each of the colors until she was greeted by her mom and her dad's loving arm and her dear sister, Safia. June Elise was born in the middle of the morning on November 17th, right on her mama and papa's bed in the house that she still lives in. Right before her birth, a cool, gentle rain began to fall from the sky, nourishing the land with its gentle showers. As soon as her mom felt that rain, she knew that June was on her way into this world. The first person to ever hold June was her papa, Cayman. The first person to play with June was her older sister, Sophia. In the first year of her life, June had kombucha, pumpkin, and avocados as her first foods. She also went on an airplane ride to visit her grandma and grandpa in New York for the very first time and her great grandmother in Florida. When June was two, she jumped up and down and cracked macadamia nuts with her friends and went to the little mountain school and learned to sing and sing and sing. When June was three, she learned to finger knit and how to take care of her two little kittens, Feather and Lorelei. When June was four, she learned how to swim underwater and how to host her great grandmother who came to visit from the mainland. She also went on a submarine ride and met her little cousin, Alika, for the very first time. And five. When June was five, she learned how to cut fruits and vegetables using a knife and how to take care of the family tortoises. June also went to Colombia where she got to meet her great grandmother and her cousins Carmen and Gregorio. And today, June is six, and she has many adventures left to explore. Sun and moon.
upon your birthday, upon your birthday. As we join hands in a ring and sing. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me to celebrate our dear friend, June Elise. And if you are at home, I would love for you to take a piece of paper and for you to make a special birthday wish just for June. You can draw a beautiful picture for her and ask your mom or your dad to write a message wishing her a happy birthday and all the hopes that you would like to send towards June. June told me three things that she really loves. One was cats. One was rainbows, and the third was birthday parties. So if you would like to include any of those in your drawings, I know June would love them. I'll see you guys soon. Aloha.